This video is brought to you by BoardGamePrices.com. Find the best prices for board games at BoardGamePrices.com. Kyoto Koto, and welcome to Batman Gotham City Chronicles in about three minutes. Review copy used. It is a game for two to four players. There is no solo mode. Playing time is around 60 minutes. It's a pretty complex game. Dateline Gotham. A horde of rogues and other criminal elements have descended on the city. Crime is rampant, and the citizens are in panic. The police are overwhelmed by the shocking savagery of these new villains. We need a hero. A dark knight to save us. We need the Batman. At the start of the game, pick one of the scenarios to play. The heroes win if they manage to complete the scenario goals in time. The villains win if they don't or all heroes are defeated. Teams. One player is the evil villain and the other players are working against them. Dice. This game has lots of dice rolls. Player turn. Each scenario will have a setup guide that shows the villain player where all their minions are placed and spells out the victory conditions and any extra tokens needed. The other page shows which heroes are available for each player and the villain's starting tiles. Each hero has a board like this, with red cubes representing their health and stamina. To take an action, place a red cube in the matching circle on your card. In this case, a melee attack. Because the symbol beside melee is an orange die, that is a die we will roll. Each character has a max number they can spend on any skill. In this case, four. An attack defeats an enemy minion if it has more successes than their defense, although the villain can spend stamina to roll defense dice. On the left, the skills are melee, ranged, manipulate, and thought. The latter two are used more for interacting with things like bombs in the scenario. Note that Batwoman gets yellow dice instead of orange dice for manipulate. To move, you place a cube in the bottom right. You get the cube spent plus a base starting amount of movement for each character shown here. Each map also has detailed instructions for how many levels up and down different spaces are, and moving up and down normally costs extra movement points. You can do a ranged attack to any adjacent space, or any space with a matching letter symbol to the space you are in. When all heroes have passed, the villain acts. First they recover stamina points, then they choose a card to activate. Its position is how much it costs, so six for these brutes, but one for Harley's gang. When a group is used, it goes to the end of the line. The villain activates two cards per turn. Activating a group allows you to move and attack with every figure in that group, and they have their own stat cards. Individual villains activate by themselves, and this card represents scenario events. If a hero is hit, they can spend cubes to roll dice in defense, and at any time, a hero can spend cubes to reroll. Any unsoaked hits move a cube to the damage area. Finally, the heroes decide if they will rest and skip their next turn and regain a lot of stamina, or stay active and regain a little. Why would you like this game? Okay, let's get the really obvious stuff out of the way first. If you love Batman and miniatures, you'll really get a kick out of this game. There are so many character models in the game, it's crazy. Production values are off the charts, and everything looks slick and polished. The maps are wonderful, and although there's only four of them, they do look gorgeous. The selection of heroes is wide and varied, and they all feel characterful and interesting to play. And the same is true of the massive rogues gallery in this game. The best thing about this game is the stamina system. It makes you feel heroic when you spend all your cubes to stomp the bad guys but that leaves you vulnerable to counterattacks. However, this is not a cheap game by any means and it takes up a huge amount of space. It's also quite hard to learn initially and keeping track of all the different skills the heroes and villains have is a challenge. And finally, the scenarios are good, but some people I played with really wanted a more open, pick your team and villain format for the game. This game is a reimagining of Conan by the same company and mechanically they share a lot in common. And the figures are comparable to a game like Zombicide. Batman Gotham City Chronicles. <laughs> Batman! If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.